everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're going back to 2007 and opening a box of 2007 SP Authentic from Upper Deck. Last week we did 2008 SP Authentic, so I figured might as well do this other box we have and just go one year earlier. Now, in this box, we'll be looking for two by the letter signature cards in the box now, there's some really good players in this set. Derek Jeter and Ken Griffey Jr. kind of lead the way. If you go by Beckett, I'm just looking at Beckett just, just so I have a checklist in front of me. Obviously, his prices are probably way different on eBay. The Derek Jeter is listed at $300, and the Ken Griffey Jr. is listed at $250. There's also some other great buy-the-letter cards in here. Guys like uh, there is Josh Hamilton in here. Tim Lincecum is in the by the letter set as well. Justin Verlander is in the by the letter set. Prince Fielder, some nice names from this era. So hopefully we can find some good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can find. Tim M is the sponsor of this video. Tim, thank you very much for letting us open your box. There's 100 cards in the base set. And uh, then they have a rookie autograph checklist as well. And uh, that is card number 101 to 158. So 58 rookie autos. Ken Griffey Jr. is the cover boy in his Cincinnati Reds uniform. This is kind of near the end of Jr.'s career. He's going to play for about, what, three more years after this. So here we go. Let's open them up. Now, I should let you know that two of the packs are missing. I bought this from the dugout zone down in Maryland, which, by the way, um, that is already over, unfortunately, that's September 26th, but I just wanted to show their uh, name once again. The Dugout Zone sold me this box. They had a lot of cool stuff there, and I featured them in my video on Tuesday. So if you didn't check them out, this is one of the boxes that I picked up at the Dugout Zone. So there's 22 of 24 packs in here. He said that he had sold two packs. So let's see, hopefully... That means that there will be at least, I'm hoping we don't get zero by the letter cards. I'll be very disappointed and I will be uh, pretty mad about that. But here we go. Let's see what we can find for Tim. He's up first. All right. So leading things off, we start off with a Jake Peavy. We got Ricky Weeks, Albert Pujols. Lance Berkman and a nice looking card right here, Orlando Cabrera Authentic Speed Card. So if you take a look at the back of the cards, uh, not too much going on there at all. This is uh, this is one of my least favorite types of back of the card where they don't even put any like vital stats. They give you his um, height and weight. Wow, thanks. I'd like to see how they did last year. So I'm not a big fan of the back of the cards. The front of the cards look kind of nice. I like that. This is a nice thick pack, so maybe we'll have a shot at a by-the-letter card in here, or it might just be a spacer. Uh, let's see what it's going to be. We have a Todd Helton. Yvonne Rodriguez, log on and save on your next purchase. So that's a uh, an expired coupon code there. Mike Piazza, that just does not look right seeing Piazza in an Oakland Athletics uniform. Of course, Piazza, we're used to seeing him in the Dodgers or Mets uniform, but we forget that he also played for the Marlins for a minute and the Oakland Athletics as well. There's Alfonso Soriano. And the last one, their authentic power, David Wright. So I'm guessing that maybe these uh, authentic cards, authentic speed, authentic power, might be one in every pack. We'll see. Let's see if we can find coming up next. Looking for Derek Jeter, King Griffey Jr. by the letter card. We've got something here. All right, it, there it is. It's a buy the letter signature card. Let's check out the rest of the uh, pack first. Nomar, Felix, and Authentic Speed, Vernon Wells with 17 stolen bases. All right, let's hope it's Derek Jeter. Who, it's going to be someone from the Angels. It is going to be Mr. Howie Kendrick. That's a pretty cool one. Howie Kendrick's still around. Doing his thing with the Nationals. A really nice card right there. You get uh, an A from, I, I'm guessing, maybe the Angels. I'm not sure where that A came from uh, since he doesn't have an A in his last name. But a nice-looking Howie Kendrick card right there for Mr. Tim. It says on the back, you've received a manufactured patch baseball card. Oh, so it's it's not a game-used jersey or anything. I, I guess it's just, is that an A for the Angels? I'm not exactly sure. Interesting. Still autographed, though. So nice one right there by the letter Howie Kendrick. And hopefully there's one more. There should be one more in here. Um, if whoever got those 
first two packs didn't get one. There's a nice Chipper Jones, Prince Fielder, Justin Verlander. That's an early Verlander card in authentic power. Jim Tomey with 42 home runs back in 2006. If you're wondering how much a box of these costs, it is the most recent ones. One sold for 160 on September 2nd on eBay and one sold in July for 150. And there aren't any more of these even available anywhere. Um, so that's why I figured, hey, I, I don't even see any of those on eBay. I better go ahead and grab that box. There's a Derek Lee. Kind of tough to find this stuff from 2000, like the mid-2000s. Not a whole lot of these types of boxes floating around out there anymore. There's Derek Jeter. That's a nice card right there. Michael Young. You got Carlos Zambrano, Frankie Rodriguez, and Justin Morneau is the last one. And by the way, before I forget, I'm also going to be opening these for Tim. The Dugout Zone gave me some extra packs. Um, it gave me two of these. I don't even know what they are. Singles Day, whatever that is, and National Baseball Card Day packs. We're going to give those to Tim. Uh, since the box was short, two packs. I wanted to buy the whole box, so the owner of the Dugout Zone said he'd give me those. Kind of make up for the missing packs. And he also took off, kind of prorated what the packs cost and took off like, uh, oh, I don't know, like 10 bucks or whatever for the missing packs. There's a Victor Martinez, Juan Pierre, and Coco Crisp is the last one as well. Let's see what else we can find. Jason Bay was the rookie of the year for the Buckos back in, uh, I think it might have been 06. Ken Griffey Jr., the cover boy of the box. Nice looking card right there. Check out the back of that card. Getting near the end of his career. There's Johan Santana, Adam Dunn, Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer, and Paul Canerico with his 35 home runs. Gets an authentic power card. Pretty nice card right there. Next pack up, we have Miguel Cabrera, a future Hall of Famer for sure. No doubt about it. There is Tom Glavin, who is a Hall of Famer. Freddy Sanchez, he won a batting title with the Buccos. Jim Tomey, Hall of Famer and authentic speed. Willie Tavares with 33 stolen bases. So pretty good pack. Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer, batting champion, Hall of Famer, and a speedy guy there that uh, most of you have probably long since forgotten about. Unless you're a big Rockies fan. Daniel Cabrera leads things off this pack. Derek Lowe. Ryan Howard, former most viable player. Scott Rowland will be in the Hall of Fame someday. And Raphael Furcal is the last one. Rowland will probably be a few years away from getting in the Hall. But I feel like uh, he'll get there. Had a nice career offensively and was a really, really, really above average third baseman fielding-wise. There is Randy Johnson, the big unit. He is a Hall of Famer. Kurt Schilling will be a Hall of Famer next year. Mark my words. It's about time he got in. There's Paul Canerco. J. Roll, Jimmy Rollins, and they gave us two extra cards. Vladimir Guerrero, Sr., and Dave Roberts, now the manager of the Dodgers. 49 stolen bases for Roberts back in 06. Cool cards right there. So you got a bonus card, Tim. That's pretty nice. Let's see what else we can find. This is uh, about the halfway point of the box. Hopefully there's one more by the letter signature card in here. This pack uh, has an A-Rod in there. Authentic speed, 46. What did... did Hey, Rod didn't steal 46 stolen bases. In 98, he did. All right, I was going to say he was a bit of a heavier guy in 2006. Here we go, next pack. Let's see what we can find in this one. We have ourselves a hand ram, Hanley Ramirez. There's David Ortiz. These, they put these in there so people don't uh, fill up the packs and know exactly where the uh, buy the letter cards are. Reduces their chances of finding them from, oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. They probably put about half of those in there. So it's probably, they actually probably have a one in six chance if you did feel up all the packs. There's Frank Thomas, 39 home runs in one of his seasons, and Hall of Famer Roy Halladay. Next pack up for Tim. We have ourselves a Jeremy Bonderman leading things off. David Wright. We've got an Austin Kearns, Raphael Furcal, and a, an authentic power, Aramis Ramirez card right there. Next pack up, let's see what we can find. In this one, we have a Mark Teixeira. And we got the other one, Tim, so congratulations. You got both by the letter cards. I was a little wary of this box with two packs missing. I was afraid that maybe we wouldn't get any by the letters, or maybe only one, because I was afraid that the other two packs may have had one or both of those. But it looks like you're going to get both by the letter signature cards. We're hoping that it's going to be Derek Jeter or Ken Griffey Jr., those are the most viable cards in the set, and that's why the boxes of this cost what they cost on eBay, $150, $160. There's Jimmy Rollins, 
I think I'll save that card for last since that we know that's our last hit, or at least I'll save it for a little while. Let's check out the other ones. Sorry for making you wait, Tim, but I want to see what we've got here. There's Alfonso Soriano, and we also have these extra bonus packs. What the heck are singles day packs? I don't even know if those are baseball cards. They might just be like all random sports cards. So it looks like, uh, I guess, Tops or um, Upper Deck also has a kind of like a National Baseball Card Day thing going on. I wasn't even aware of that. There's an Ichiro card. You got a bonus card in there as well. Prince Fielder and your bonus card is going to be BJ Upton uh, now or at the end of his career. I don't, he doesn't play anymore, but used to go by Melvin Upton Jr. near the end of his playing days a couple years ago. We got Richie Sexton on the back. There's Gil Mesh, who actually had a nice contract. Walked away from baseball because he was embarrassed of how bad he was performing. You don't see that too often. Guys like Chris Davis have a giant contract, and he's still playing. I know he's got to feel terrible, Chris Davis of the Orioles. Did you know Chris Davis's batting average this year was 115? Yeah, 115. That is uh, – I feel like – I don't want to say I could go out there and hit 115, but um, – for being a major leaguer making 20 some million dollars a year, that's that's got to be really rough to uh, not be able to perform. There's Carlos Quinton, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Ian Snell. I like Ian Snell, former Bucko pitcher. I actually caught his hat as they came off the field. The last day of the season every year, the Pirates used to toss everything but the kitchen sink into the crowd after the game. So they would throw all their hats, their armbands, they'd slide their bats across the dugout, fling up their um, batting gloves and their hats. And uh, I went down behind the Pirates dugout after the last game in 2008, and uh, Ian Snell tossed his cap high in the air. And being the six-foot, four-and-a-half guy that I am, I was able to reach up and grab it. Of course, I, I don't think I have it anymore. It got all sweaty for me wearing it. There's Frank Thomas. And I eventually just tossed into the trash. But a nice memory right there nonetheless. Ian Snell's game-used hat. Well, what else do we have here? Two packs left on this episode of Throwback Thursday. Johnny Damon, Delman Young, Jeff Francis, and we have an authentic speed. Ken Griffey Jr. card there. Nice one right there. All right, what do we got coming up? This is our last pack. Then we'll check out the Buy the Letter card. So we know we don't have a hit. These are all quote-unquote cold packs. Eric Gagne, former Cy Young Award winner. There's that um, coupon code again. Travis Hafner and Authentic Power, Lance Berkman. All right, Tim, let's see what you got right here. By the way, if you missed out on our Toss Back Tuesday on Patreon, it's a Patreon-exclusive video. Tim, I'm going to give you all the cards from 2005 Tops. We opened a blaster box. You're going to get all of these as well as an extra thank you and a sorry that there was two packs missing. Um, that's just the way it went. I'm glad it worked out, though. If you'd like to see all the cards from the 2005 Toss Back Tuesday on Patreon, you can sign up on Patreon. It's uh, only $3 per month to sign up over there. and. It's the best time to do it right now because you get charged on the first of each month. So you'll be charged today and also you'll be charged again November 1st unless you cancel. The way Patreon works is they charge you when you sign up and then the first of each month. So here we go, Tim. Let's see what we can find for you. You have yourself a Phillies player. So I'm not sure. Maybe, just maybe Ryan Howard is in the set. I'm trying to look quickly at the checklist and see who this could possibly be. I can't figure it out. So it is going to be out of 75. It is going to be Zach Segovia. Zach Segovia, by the letter, it's a rookie signature. So I was looking at the uh, the uh, veterans list there. But it's a Zach Segovia out of 75. So a Howie Kendrick will do the job. That's the best card of the video for you. And, you know, there's some other nice ones in there. Derek Jeter, Ken Griffey Jr. and stuff like that. But, Tim, thank you very much. We're not done yet, though. These coupons, I'm just going to, these are pretty much garbage. I'm just going to throw those away for you. All right, so we have these extra packs that were given to us by the dugout zone. Let's check these out. These are also going to Tim. First up, we have this Singles Day. I have no idea what the heck this is. It's, uh, all right, it's hockey cards. So for, oh no, it's all sports. So I guess it's a 20-card set featuring Michael Jordan Tiger Woods, um, are there any decent baseball players that we can find? Looking over that entire first list, not seeing any. Wow, that's terrible. So I guess since Upper Deck doesn't make baseball cards anymore, they just said uh, 
Forget that. We're not allowed to put baseball cards on our cards anyway. So we have somebody named Jack Eichel, LeBron James, and Nathan McKinnon in our first pack. And now we have another pack for you as well from Singles Day. We'll see if we can pull somebody notable. Tiger Woods definitely is notable. John Tavares and Patrick Waugh is the last one there. All right, so let's check out the cool National Baseball Card Day packs before we end this video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the thumbs up button for me. Tomorrow we have Face Off Friday. We're doing a Luis Robert first Bowman search. That's one of the boxes, a 2018 Bowman box, along with a Bowman Chrome box and a Top Series 2 box. And then Saturday Showdown, we're going to be doing Chronicles. So lots of numbered cards in Panini Chronicles. So check that out on Saturday. Let's see what we've got here for you, Tim. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. We're hoping to find Luis Robert or an autograph. As you know, I was able to find an autograph, a Nico Horner autograph, in my National Baseball Card Day pack from, I forget who gave it to me. It was one of those card stores. It may have been uh, Dave and Adams gave me a couple of those packs. A couple other stores did as well. Here we go, the last pack of the video. Let's see who this, this bonus pack is going to produce. Manny Machado, Josh, Bell, Bryce Harper, and Nolan Arenado. There's the back of the cards. Cool cards. Definitely like these cards a lot. So those will go in Tim's stack. Tim, thank you very much for your support and letting us open your box for Throwback Thursday here on video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Hope you guys are enjoying the MLB baseball playoffs. And I will see you all tomorrow for Face Off Friday. Good night, everybody.